Last one. Taylor, for those of us who've been in St. Louis just covering the Blues and the Cardinals and the Rams yep. and don't see MLS on a regular basis, can you give us an idea on just how electric it is and why you think your home city really would make this great? Because, Frank, when you go around all the MLS franchises that are currently playing in Major League Soccer, there are very few, if any, and I would say Seattle, Portland, Vancouver, that have a history already built in. The only thing this city needs is a professional team playing at the highest level with a soccer-specific stadium. The history that this city has, the infrastructure of the youth game, the knowledge and the intelligence of the fan, this city has everything but the final piece. And I'll say that, I'm gonna say this today at Ballpark Village, this city will be left behind if this doesn't go through. That's fact, not opinion. And what this league has done in five years, and I haven't been retired that long, it's apples to oranges where this league is. If you close your eyes, got on an airplane, landed in Orlando City and opened your eyes in the middle of the stadium, you would have thought you were in the middle of England. You would have thought you were in the middle of Germany. You would have absolutely no idea that you were in Orlando, Florida, college football country. And the one thing about covering the sport for ESPN that I've noticed in Bristol is every single person in Bristol now, in 2017, can talk the sport of soccer. They have some knowledge of the sport. And a lot of that is because MLS games are on all the time, EPL games are on all the time, US soccer's a better team than it was 10, 15 years ago. And yet, I look at this city for what it's done, and whether it's the Dan Flynn's and Tim Twalman's generation that have come all the way down, every single generation in this room the soccer ball has been a part of it. Yet we're gonna look back, 2022, 2032, if MLS isn't here, I, I just, I have a bad feeling that the history and the infrastructure that is already set up for this to be a home run will be lost. And how young the city is, that's what St. Louis needs. And listen, I, the Rams left, so what? Take a hike, who cares? The fact is, soccer is so much younger than anyone realizes. And I come from a baseball family. Bill McDermott would tell you. My grandfather played for the Browns. I'm a baseball family through and through. I've got uncles talking about MLS. I've got uncles because their kids, their nephews, their nieces, they all play the sport of soccer. And yet, I don't want St. Louis, downtown St. Louis, to be a city where you get in a car, go to a Cardinals game, go to a Blues game, and leave. That's gotta change. And a way to change that is you become more progressive, you become younger, and the one way to become younger, and we can talk taxes and all that, they, the numbers prove, so there's more money for the city, fine. We need people coming to St. Louis. I wanna fly over the arch, see the lights on, US Honduras, World Cup qualifier, winner of that game qualifies for the 22 World Cup. I guarantee you that will happen here. But it can't happen if we don't have a stadium. It can happen if the stadium's not under the arch. And it can happen unless everyone that has a chance to vote gets off their rear ends and doesn't assume this is going to happen. They have to show up Monday. Tuesday. 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 Well, Tuesday. Sam already Get down the line. The Lions are doing that. April 4th. <laughs> but they have to show up. And if they show up, I guarantee you this 50, 60, 70, 80 years down the road, we'll all look back on this and say the same way all of us in this room, if I bring up the Cardinals, we all have a St. Louis Cardinals story. If I bring up the Blues, we all have a Blues story. I promise you on my life that we will have St. Louis SC stories in that stadium for our kids and our generation. I should have scored a goal in front of a home crowd in St. Louis. I was never given an opportunity. I think it's time that all of us that have a soccer history we educate and support the heck out of this and tell people to vote. Don Garber's here for one reason, because he knows that this city is a home run. He's not gonna say because he can't, I will. This is a home run. And until we really do this, then we're all just gonna be, well, the 1950 World Cup team was full of St. Louis players. SLU versus SIU Edwardsville. I'm tired of that. We got too many good players in the city. We've got a city that will support it. It's a home run. Taylor, you mentioned, you mentioned you don't want people to come into St. Louis and just leave, right? You just said that? Mm hmm Do you think that the people who come in to watch those games should also pay for this stadium? Because the city seems to be, the people stuck, the people who didn't leave, who didn't leave the city, didn't 
go with what yeah. you like, but are paying for it. But that's how the legislation and all that works here. I can't right. sit up here and tell you that the county should vote. I can't. But do you think it would be fair if everybody paid for it, not just the yeah, people in the city, not just the city? We can't change that in seven days. The only thing I can do is educate in seven days or the last three months that I've been doing on social media is what this downtown St. Louis needs, Jose. And listen, are you from here? But you moved here, right? We need more people like you to move here, to stay here, to stay in this downtown. That's what we need. That's what St. Louis needs. And all this negative talk about the Rams leaving, okay, so what? Let's rebuild it. Let's rebuild this city in the one way that I've seen. Orlando City, I can't, guys, that's college football country. No one in Orlando, you would have told me five years ago, Don probably did. I'm, Don, you're full of it. This year, I'm telling you, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Jose, St. Louis needs a rebirth, and the quickest way to do this is one, we're gonna generate more tax money and all that, fine, is to get younger and to make people go downtown. I talked to my parents that have been here for 40 years. How often do you go downtown? Well, is the, are the Cardinals playing? We gotta stop that. We need a game Saturday at one o'clock, the game Sunday at seven o'clock, and that entire weekend, downtown St. Louis is full of everyone, county people, foreigners, it doesn't matter, coming in, building an infrastructure in downtown St. Louis. We don't have that. And every other, if we're talking about Austin, Texas, come on. This is St. Louis, Missouri. We need people to stay here. We need people to come here. And unless we do this, then all I'm going to be talking about is St. Louis, you high for Chaminade, which, by the way, I scored a lot of goals in Chaminade, but that's besides the point. I think, I think we're tired of that. The one lesson I learned was we always had more questions for Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to take a group photo, and then we've got to separate. But uh, thanks a million for coming out. And we'll see you at Ballpark Village, okay? The show starts at 5 o'clock.